but I'm going to create this app in the next uh, few weeks. I'm going to create this app on YouTube just to show you guys how I create Power Apps. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions and today I wanted to talk to you about how I gather requirements for a Power App. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about how to create Power Apps, but I see very little on gathering requirements and how to get the requirements from a user and have a successful project. So the first thing that comes to mind is people come to me and they say they want a Power App. And my question is why? And they might say, well, I want a, a better looking form. And so my first answer is, okay, so why don't you just use Microsoft Forms? You can create a Microsoft Form in five to 10 minutes. You can create a Power App in two to four weeks or even more. So why are we doing a Power App? And so a lot of people, I do convince them to go with Forms just because it makes my life easier. These Power Apps come in, they're requested so much. It's a new technology, people love it. Once I know that I'm gonna go with Power Apps, there are five questions that I'm going to ask the customer. The first one is I'm going to understand the need. I'm gonna know what issue does this resolve? What's the outcome? Is it external or internal facing? And how many users are going to be using this app? How many users are going to be using it in parallel concurrently? And how many users are broad maybe over a year? And then we're gonna discuss about constraints. So what's the timeline about this? So I do design a lot of power apps for the government. And so I've had people come to me and say, the timeline is yesterday. I need this power app by yesterday. And so I'm going to have to talk to the customer and I'm going to have to say, okay, we need a realistic timeline. A power app cannot be developed in one to two days. It's going to take, I would say any power app is going to take at least two weeks. You can't skip the testing phase. You can't skip the requirements gathering. You really need to make sure this project is a success, especially uh, the more users that are going to be using it. And so then we'll also discuss the cost and the number of resources we have for this and where we're going to have a project manager, how many testers, how many people are going to be developing. And that goes into, you know, who or what is going to provide me the information. Is there going to be a person, a point, a point of contact that I can go to and ask questions and say, hey, maybe this should be a currency field, maybe this should be a date field. These simple questions that I need to have answers to right away that so I don't get stuck. I don't want to be stuck and have to wait on the customer. So I need one person, a point of contact that I can talk to and ask questions. And also sometimes with my Power App, there will be a project manager. Will this project manager be able to get this information for me? And then another question I'm going to have to convey to the customer is how will we accept changes? Once you create a Power App, they're going to come back with changes. Oh, I don't want this to be blue. I want it to be purple. Oh, I don't want this field to say resources. I want it to say resource. Oh, the drop down. I want different available choices in there. The customer needs to know that a, cho a change is going to take time. And we, if you want to use a project management term, that's the scope. Is this scope creep? Is this going to make the project take longer? Is it going to increase the cost of the project? We have to be aware of these things. So one thing I like to do is get the customer to sign off on the requirements. That way, once they have their app and it meets all the requirements, it's done. If they want more changes, that's going to cost more and it's going to create more time for the project. And then finally, who will test? Testing is very important with your Power App and all software development. Who is going to test? Are you, is the customer going to test? Do you have your own resource to test? Will the project manager test? You can't test your own Power App. So I don't know how familiar you are with Power BI, but this is the model section of Power BI. So you have here on the far left, you have your report, you have your data tables, and then you have your model. So I like to develop my fields and put it in this version. I like to create the model um, and I normally do it in Excel. And so the model has the name of the table with the fields underneath and then it shows if it's a one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationship. So I, I like to do that in Excel. So when I'm gathering requirements, I'm going to come to Excel and I'm going to create these tables. 
So I've already done this one for, you know, to save time. But I'm going to create this app in the next uh, few weeks. I'm going to create this app on YouTube just to show you guys how I create Power Apps. And my first table is going to be the master table. This table is actually going to have the event. So the, the problem is, is there's going to be an event and the customer wants to record the resources at the event. They want to record the social media before the event happens. And they will also want to record the feedback. So each of these tables is actually a one-to-many relationship with the events table. So the events table has one-to-many resources, one-to-many social media posts, and one-to-many feedbacks. And so each of the children tables actually has the event ID on there also. The event ID is there to create that relationship. I need to have that key so that I can create the relationship between my tables. And so now that I have designed my tables, you could come in here and say, you know, event name is a single line text. It depends on if you're using SQL or if you're using SharePoint. Let's say after I've created these columns, I, I need to add another one. I, I want to know the rating of the feedback. I'm going to hand this off to the customer and I'm going to have them sign off on it and let them know the fields that are going to be used in their Power App. So thank you guys for watching. If you subscribe, like my channel, I'm gonna create this Power App. Uh, in the next few months, I'm gonna try and do it every week, uh, releasing on Monday. So if, if I can't make that, it'll be every two weeks, but I am gonna create this Power App. If you'd like and subscribe and like to follow, uh, this is how I gather requirements, and I'm gonna show you the production of my complete power app. Thanks for watching.